After opening Insights and loading the data, click the Processing Properties button and ensure that the Auto Picking tab is selected. And from this drop down menu, choose the picking method. P-Wave Picking Properties can be chosen in this section. Back and front window length can be altered, as well as the picking threshold and the minimum peak-to-peak -peak amplitude. Unless the other tick box in this section is ticked, P waves will be picked first, followed by S waves. S wave picking properties can also be altered here. Again, there are the options for choosing the back window length, front window length, picking threshold, and the minimum peak to peak amplitude. There are also tick boxes allowing the user to auto pick S waves before P waves, reverse S wave picking or allow S-Wave pick in a whole trace. A number of other tick box options can be changed. Here we tick Use Waveform Visualizer window. The Channel Processing tab allows you to customise the waveform filtering by selecting to do it automatically or manually. You can filter using your sensor settings or customise your filtering parameters here. Under the Locator tab, we can choose a primary algorithm from this menu. And pressing the settings button opens a window in which further properties can be changed. A velocity structure is chosen from this drop down menu. The settings of this can be altered from this menu. Here we are altering the P wave and S wave velocities. Click OK to save and close. The third drop down menu allows the user to choose whether only P, S or both arrivals are used. Working time units can also be set on this tab. Minimum P and S arrivals can be chosen, as can the maximum residual. The starting position for the simplex into Geiger method is chosen from this drop down menu. Click OK to save and close. And click the waveforms button. An alternative method to get to this view is by selecting the View menu and clicking Waveform Visualizer. The Filter Events button can be pressed to toggle the filter on and off. Auto pick P button can be pressed to auto pick the P arrival. Auto pick S button can be clicked to auto pick the S wave arrivals.
double click in the white space to enter the channel view. The cancel P picks button can be pressed to cancel the P arrival picks. The same can be done to cancel S arrival picks. To man the manually insert arrival picks for P and S waves, right click and select an option. Click and drag the blue line to the P arrival pick. Click and drag the green line to the S arrival pick. Click the return button to enter the previous view. Click the locate button to locate the event from the P and S wave picks. The location results are displayed in this window. This can be closed. Go to the 3D visualizer to see the event. In this case, it is the yellow dot in the middle and the black triangles are the receivers. Go to View and Data Visualizer. Here we can see the located event is now shown in red. Click the Auto Processor button to open this box. Add Auto Pick Event and locate event. This will automatically apply these processes to the entire dataset. On clicking close, the results are added of the locations to the events. Click the 3D visualizer and now all of the located events can be seen. Click file and save.